We need two teaspoons of salt. Everything needs salt, right? You may need a little bit of extra salt uh, afterwards. You know, you have to taste the sauce once it's finished because uh, there's going to be a lot of tomato going in here and tomatoes do need quite a bit of salt. So the next one, now we need two teaspoons of cumin. This is very important. I don't know if anyone wants to smell. It's mm. very, very Indian. Very strong. Oh, yeah. In fact, they're like little mm -hmm. seeds mm -hmm. that look like, uh, I don't know if anyone knows what um, anise seed, anise seeds look like. They're very similar, or fennel seeds. It's very similar. So, okay, we'll just integrate that. Now we add four teaspoons of coriander. Now, coriander is actually cilantro. Cilantro, you all know cilantro, mm -hmm. no doubt, looks like parsley. And these are the seeds from the cilantro, and they are roasted and ground into a powder, and that's it. And that's so important. That's called ground uh, coriander. So here we need about roughly four teaspoons. See, I'm learning a lot today because I don't cook anything. So. <laughs> ah, well, this is just so easy. Right, now we need two teaspoons of our turmeric because that's going to give us the colour, as I said. It doesn't really taste much, but okay. And yeah, now we're just going to need two teaspoons of chilli powder. That's it, to give it a little bit of spice. We're going to also add uh, fresh chilli, but um, this is okay for now. Right, now I'm going to start on my tomatoes. Here I have... Two pounds of tomatoes. You say tomatoes, <laughs> I Tomato, say tomatoes. Tomatoes, <laughs> tomatoes, folks. I am English. Um, I've got two pounds of tomatoes, which I peeled. Um, I put them in a bowl and cover them with boiling water, let them stand for about 10 minutes, and the peel comes off very, very easily, and then just finely chopped. So that's gone in here. Then mm. we have 10 ounces of tomato puree. Oh, you said tomato. I did for you guys. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that has to go in like that. Okay, and then our last tomato ingredient is five ounces of tomato paste. Now you can buy these in cans at your grocery store. Just make sure that they're not seasoned, that you don't accidentally get like an one with Italian seasoning because that would be terrible. So just plain, <laughs> unseasoned uh, tomato paste, uh, tomato puree, they, they come in these cans and that's fine. Looks very yummy. It does, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Now we're just going to have to stir fry this for a little while. Okay. And uh, now we need to add some chili. Some the chili. Chilies, yeah. Okay. We've got to give it some heat now. I shall have taken Mexican chilies <laughs> for this one. You can take any chili you want. If you want red chili, it depends on, on, on how spicy you want it. I mean, usually people have a preference to what kind of chili they like to use. Yeah, I think they're the jalapeno, um, Mexican, yeah. You want me to mix for you? Yeah, please. Right, now I need some for, my, for another dish, so I'm just going to like... There we go, that should do it. That should be about two tablespoons. Okay. It's the first time I ever cooked. Wow, <laughs> well done. Thank you. Now, keep stirring. Oops. Now we're going to add one cup oops, of light cream. Okay. This is going to make it nice and creamy, the sauce, so we have to... Oh. I'm messing. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Whoops. Maybe you should switch. Hmm? Oh dear, yeah, is it going everywhere? Yeah. yeah. Now you have to be careful because this can start splashing in a big way. Okay. Yeah. I'll stay back. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you know when, when you cook pasta sauce, to, uh, pasta tomato sauce, it just splashes all over the place. Okay, so now basically what we're going to do, we're going to cover this um, and put it on very low and just let this cook on a very low heat for about half an hour. So okay. But turn this down. And the rice is still boiling at this yeah, point. Yeah, we right? better check that. Okay. So, okay. Let's check the rice. Let's check the rice. Okay. 
Yeah, that seems to be doing, actually. I think I can turn that off. Now, is this Almost. long grain rice? Or? No, this is basmati rice, which okay. comes from India. Okay. So this is uh, quite a perfumed rice. And I, th I find it very, very delicate. It's, it's lovely, very nice. And that's really what's eaten with Indian curry is the basmati rice. Sometimes you can cook it with saffron. Okay. So you have like the pilau rice and they sometimes put in um, split almonds and raisins. And it just depends what kind of Indian dish you're cooking. So you can have different types of rice. Right, so that's it. We'll just check on our, okay. on yeah. our chicken. Oh, our chicken's baking in the oven. Our chicken baking in the oven. Yeah, but that still needs a little bit oh, okay. before we add it to this. Now, next step, uh, we should start on the uh, raita, which is an accompaniment uh, side dish to Indian um, in India because most of the curries there are so spicy and hot. Uh, they like to have an ice cold yogurt side mm. dish to sort of, it sort of balances out the taste of the meal. Um, usually they would eat just plain yogurt, unseasoned, no salt or pepper, just as it is, possibly with a little bit of chopped mint. But today we're doing a more exotic one, which is going to be cucumber raita. So we'll have that um, as a side dish. As a side dish. Okay. As a side so dish. Show us that, right? We'll we'll show you that now. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. I just have to put some of this away here. So this is a dessert. It's considered a dessert. No, 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 a, no, no. This is a side just dish. Just a side dish to the meal. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Absolutely. Oops. Sorry. I forgot something in 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 the um, sauce here. Goodness. A little honey. A little honey. Okay. Usually the best thing is is to taste the sauce and the tomatoes make it quite sour so I usually put about a third of a cup of honey into the sauce. So uh, we're just we're just estimate. <laughs> I don't think so. anyone would be able to guess what goes into a dish like this by just tasting but it. No, certainly not. Certainly not. That probably wasn't even enough, but I think well, you can adjust the taste then afterwards. We'll just let that cook off for a little while longer. Right, I just need to get rid of all of this here. Sorry. Okay, now so then, we're going to our side dish. Now we're going on to our side dish. Okay. Right. Here we have our ice cold yogurt. Oh, okay, so that's ice okay. cold yogurt. Uh, that's about three cups, or roughly one of these uh, tubs of yogurt, plain yogurt that you can get in the grocery store. So, now I need to hear. Now what I've done, I've already pre-prepared uh, my cucumber. I had two cucumbers, and I've peeled them, and I've de-seeded them. That's very, very important to de-seed the cucumber because they let off a, a hell of a lot of water and you'll end up with very, very watery raita. So what I've done, I've de-seeded the um, cucumber and I've literally sort of squeezed it through a sieve to get all the water out of it. So now it's pretty... Very dry. Very dry. And then I grated it on the cheese grater, on the coarse um, you know, side of the cheese right. grater. So this has to go in. Goes in the... That goes into the yogurt. Yogurt. Okay. Then here I have about five um, green onions. I think what you call them, what do you call them? Scallions. Sca scallions, finely chopped. Okay. Now we need some more cumin. See, this, 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 this is evident in all Indian dishes. So here we need... And you said that's what gives it the, the high yellow color, right? No, no, no. That, no. That this gives it the Indian taste. The Indian it's, taste. It's okay. the turmeric that gives the, the yellow okay. um, color. So here we need a quarter of a teaspoon. Yeah, because that's brown. Brownish. Yeah, that's right. There we go. I just put in a little bit extra. That's quite a bit in there. Okay, and now I'm going to need quite a bit of salt. So what I'll do, we'll take one teaspoon of salt. Quite a bit, and now we need what's very important we need the chili powder. So, right, 
Is chili powder used a lot in a lot of Indian dishes? Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah, chili powder is very important to give the heat, uh, as well as the um, green chilies. Where's my green chili gone? Here it is. Okay, and then we have our remaining jalapeno chili.